boys and girls said I would like to do a piano with everybody dancing. And one of them I would really like to see what y'all could do. And if y'all want to clap, there'll be a he Bob Moog's legacy is an interesting concept. Uh, it means different things to different people. He helped spearhead an industry that has influenced music for future generations. It's almost like he's the Leonardo da Vinci of electronic music instruments. I worked with Bob Moog, <laughs> you know, and, and we developed a musical instrument together that changed the whole history of music. Synthesizers had already been around, but the Moog came at exactly the right time. Now there are literally thousands of, of kids here for in a celebration of electronic music and praising Bob Moog's name. The awareness of electronics and music and the fusion of those two things is just so much greater than it's ever been in history. And, and because of all the possibilities that are inherent in electronic music, I just expect that to continue and grow. You realize what a huge impact this person had on the world. And that's really where the foundation was born. And it's something that we wanted to carry forward to future generations. The mission, the formal mission, is to educate and inspire people through electronic music, and particularly through the intersection of music, science, and innovation. And there are three ways we're doing that. One is through an educational component that we're calling Moog Lab, where we bring um, electronic musical instruments into the schools to teach kids the science behind electronic music. It's probably about the most fun I've seen a child have approaching a musical instrument for the first time. When children first hear the sounds that are emitted from these electric instruments, they relate it to their experience with everything from video games to movies, and you can tell they live in the modern context of these sounds, and they have an interest for where they come from. We talk about having 21st century learners, children who are exposed to digital technology and electronic technology, and these instruments are perfect for engaging those students. The multi-touch sensitive keyboards are keyboard controllers in which each key is fitted with a sensor system that enables a musician to control up to three musical parameters continuously in real time. These synths, like the Mini Moog, were was one of the first things I, I uh, got to play with. It, 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 it teaches you like the basic fundamentals of sound sculpting and shaping, um, and it's, it's brilliant because um, it takes it a step further than just playing an instrument. It, it puts you in the realm of, oh, now I'm controlling, um, and now I have this sound, and now I'm going to mold it like clay, in a way. It's, your, it's like sonic art at that point. Melody, texture, and rhythm is in every child. No child is without it. None. And it's, it's amusing and amazing to see the level of creativity that happens with a child. Foundation. It's got this vision of putting a sound inventing device in a child's hands. And I endorse that. I've seen the result of that. So that's one of the things we're doing. We're, we're creating a curriculum right now for K through 8 to be able to do that here in Asheville, but then grow that throughout the country. I think it'd be just a great way to expose children nationwide to those ideas and to those concepts. And I hope very much the Bob Moog Foundation can take this to schools all across our nation. It'd be a wonderful thing. So, do you think that it might have worked?